Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to do a pouring video. Now this is not me giving you necessarily step-by-step -step on how to pour, but Beverly sent me the Color Pour Tools Pour Art Assorted Kit. I've never seen these before. And it comes with two plastic combs, two plastic paintbrushes, two palette knives, five pipettes, one pair of tweezers, and one burnishing tool. Two plastic combs that must be in a different line lunch because <laughs> oh wow oh they're falling out so look at that American crafts I don't know I've never seen this before so I thought I have this painting I didn't like it was bothering me and I thought I wanted to do a background on it and maybe save it oh okay let me just take this out so you can see so this is what it is and okay so you get these oh these are nice pipettes pipettes they're long i have short ones i have a short one right here i didn't even know that came in it okay and then you get this cone oh i'm gonna be able to use that for so many things and this cone so what i did was i have my canvas i did not the only thing i did on here was i put down glass beads um which is a a texture kind of thing it's like it's supposed to be like little glass beads in gel medium okay so that was the other day and it's dry and everything else so what i did was i have this color which is multi-surface bright pink from uh, folk art I have this color, which is Martha Stewart, yellow pearl, multi-surface. I have white, which is titanium white. I have, I mixed, this is ceram coat in meridian blue. And I mixed that with some diazid, I never can say this, diaxanine violet. And then I have in here some berry wine and it's a little wa more watery than I want it to be, but uh, that's all right. I'll deal. I might have to put more Mod Podge. Then what I did was I took Mod Podge mat and I poured it into my little uh, cups. That's what I did first. So I poured this in first, put some paint and then a sprayed like three sprays of water in it okay so it liquefies it and it's you know it's liquid is it going to be too liquid i don't know but i used my podge mat water and my paint then i was thinking of taking some treasure gold and adding it in the white i'm going to do a dirty pour so i'm going to shake this i think i i don't know if it's ugh, i don't know what to do if i should pour it in itself or if I should pour it in the white, but then is it gonna, that's my question. All right, I can put this away. All right, let's just go for it. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this on top of the dirty pour. So I'm gonna have, you see this, you see how watery it is? We're gonna see what it does, but it's a pretty color and I made it too watery, which is fine. White's gonna go in last. Let's do, that's gonna be too much. Let's do, I'm just gonna pour in yellow. We're gonna see. I'm gonna do pink because I like those colors together. I will then do purple. You can tell it's Easter. It's, I want some spring. Some white. And white they say is heaviest so and then I might just sprinkle in some of my gold. Just a little bit because in my head I know how I want it. Will it come out like that? Probably not. Okay. But we're going to see. Oh, I love that gold. I could live in it. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Is it going to look like poop? Maybe. We're going to see. So I'm taking this out. Yeah, <laughs> God. I'm going to take this and then I'm going to turn it. Let's see what happens. Who knows? I'm going to lift it. Oh, okay. 
Oh, child, I should have put something underneath there. All right. Oh, fuck. Oh, I mean, woo. Okay. Let's just leave it go. I want it to get in all those little crumply crumplies. I'm not going to move it yet. I just kind of want everything to settle. I don't even know if I want to touch the tools with this because I kind of like this. Fungal, fungal. I think the purple might have been a bit too much. The maroon, like the berry wine, it might be taking over everything. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna swipe it. What that means, I have no idea, but we're gonna. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm icing a cake with this. I love new tools. I love new tools. I guess this is like to go like that, but I want to like move it this way. No, nope. Maybe the bubble, maybe the glass is doing something. Oh, oh, yes. oh my God. Okay. I'm going to have to do these again. I'm going to have to do it again in another video or just by myself. Or maybe on a live stream. I don't care that some of the underneath comes through. Yeah, see, I think I muddled the colors too much, but that's all right. I think I might do another one. Maybe not enough white. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not, I'm not hating on it because it has to do its little thing. I'm going to take some, because I have like a little bit left in here, and I'm going to just like take it around to add some color. I'll leave that there. I don't know what colors are left in here. Might be some more white, but we'll leave it like this over there. There. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to sit and bore you as I sit and wait for this. Oh, I could have done that. I could have done that. Um, I will come back and then we'll see, like, once everything falls. I mean, I don't know. Let's see how long I'm going to take. Because there's not too much in there that needs to, to fall. But I wanted to do some backgrounds. And like I said, I had done the texture paste. Um but you can essentially do with small uh, little seed beads, like the small seed beads. What are they, 10 or 15 seed beads? Um, which I have a bunch. And you can put it in with your Mod Podge or whatever. And you just make really cool texture. So I wanted this to kind of... I'll tell you what, I'm glad I didn't put black. Because I was going to put black in here. But I'm really glad I didn't. Yeah, she's about done there. I'm going to clean my desk today, so I thought, <laughs> if I'm going to make a mess, let's do it today. And I got these the other day, and I wanted to use them. So thank you, Beverly. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's hope I can upload my video, because YouTube's being a complete jerk. Jerk, as my nephew says. All right. Okay. See, I can probably scrape, huh? And just throw it. Mod Podge is so versatile. I know people get like, oh, Mod Podge, oh, Mod Podge. But it really is. You can use it for glue. You, you know, you use it as your gel medium. I I use it for to seal things. I use it to to do this. Um, I use it to make watercolor and pastels permanent. I mean, I really use it. And they have so many different um, tech uh, not textures. What are they called? Finishes, I guess. Brush stroke, which I'm excited. I'm going to try use next. Uh, paper, fabric. I mean, if you guys been with me for a minute, you guys I've used them all. And there's some I love more than others, not going to lie. 
but I always go back to Mod Podge, Matt. I really do. Okay, so you see what I did there? I just scraped it and did this with this tool. Let's, well, not much of this left. That was a mixture. What about you? I'm just not stirred these that great because it's a little thicker on the bottom, but. Okay. And then y'all. So I'm just going to throw all these in here for now and I'll just clean them all at once. No more white. I really like that white. I might have to sprinkle some white in. Although they're kind of, it's a little dark over here. I wonder if I add a little bit of water and I just see that's oh my, God, my hands. Okay. So now. Do you think we could get it going? I need to get it up there, get it around. Okay, we're done there. Okay. Patience is not my friend today. Let's see. Still a bit too much purple for my liking, but I mean, what are you going to do? It is what it is. Oh, a little bit better because so I want to swipe it to get all the ends, which I will, but I kind of want it. Like I need some down here. Some of it runs faster than others. Yeah, like that, just so I have it. I need some down here. And then I'm gonna leave it sit and we'll see what happens. She's dripping. Okay. Now the yellow, like that, I'm okay with like some of that peeping through. It's not gonna, make me upset, <coughs> as they say. <coughs> oh my God. Every time I cough now, I'm like panicking. Okay. I know she's gonna, I'm gonna clean my desk today. I promise, I promise. Oh, that's pretty coming through. I don't know how well you can see that. This is that gold, which looks pretty there. I wonder if I should make it run a little bit more before it starts settling. I want it to kind of go catty corner. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's dripping. Do I want it to drip? I'm gonna go back this way. I have, AC Moore went out of business. I get, I, I'm assuming all over the country. And I have, I got, I got it for cat litter, believe it or not. It's this big, like, shh, I don't know what it is, a bin. I don't know if it was for shoot. I don't know what it is. And Dave said, oh, and I said, you know what? We could use that for double kitty litter because for downstairs, I have just a regular cat litter box and really one bag of one or two, maybe, maybe two bags of small litter fit in it. So it would be nice to have that. And we change it out every week, but it would be more. So it would help the smell, whatever. It's been sitting up here. So I saw it the other day and I thought, you know, I'm going to, uh, use that for my pouring stuff. After I got this in the mail, I'll use it for my pouring. So I can put this in it and pour and the whole nine yards. Did I grab it? No. Could I fit it here? No. Like I said, I am going to clean all this up today and try to get myself a little bit, a little bit more uh, space, but, and so it's a little cleaner because I know you guys don't like it, but all right, I'm going to, I want to swirl this a little bit just to add some. See, I can see the, it was in there. Um, for a background, this will be perfect. I just didn't necessarily want all this gold. I mean, I guess I could do it this way. Let's do it like this. Let's see what happens. So that, the fairy wand was a little bit of a mistake. That's okay. Not mad at it. I'm going to leave that settle and then I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. Because like I said, I'm, I, I like these little boopies in it with these little pops of color. 
And if I do a if I do a thing on here, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but if I, let's say I do one of my faces, I'll do the face this way and the neck that way, probably, because I can even make that part of a ponytail. We'll see. Now I know I'm going to hit this. See if there's any bubble. I'm just spread it around a little bit more. I will be doing this again. I'll do different colors though, so it's not so, oh yeah, so it's not so dark. But for a background, I'm cool. Thank you all that. And you can see right here how heavy that white is because it doesn't move as easily as the pink. Below that, let's see. A little bit. Okay. Alright, I am going to take, let's see what this does. With this. I mean, is that, I've not used tools before. I've done very primal. Oh, what? I don't even know how well you can see. I'll lift it up. Okay. I wonder if I just kind of do that. Do it this way. This is where you get a muddy mess because I can't learn to leave it go. Let it go. All right. So this is where we're at. See if you can see. Yeah, let's see. So it's just going to be a background, but it was an easy way for me to cover and play. Can you see? This would be nice just as a. Just needs more color in it. <laughs> My paper. But I'm going to let this dry, and you will probably see this in another video where I do something on top of it. So I was just playing today, just with some Mod Podge and uh, acrylic paint. But let me know if you want me to do it again on video, because uh, I definitely want to do this again, but not so dark. I want to go lighter. I'm always dark. Like this for me is perfect, but I want to do some blues and uh, yellow, like some turquoise and yellow, because I really like this combination and maybe a little bit of red. So let me know down below. I'd appreciate it. All right, guys. I love you. Uh, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Please be safe uh, out there and wash your hands and all the fun things. And uh, let me comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this. And if you want to see another one with different colors. So that is it. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Okay, real quick, I'm just adding this on to the end because I decided to try to swipe it. Um, and it worked a little bit, but because of all the texture I had underneath, it wasn't being very successful. I probably should have had it a little bit wetter. Um, plus the colors all blended together because, you know, I used like colors. I used colors that I liked rather than colors that would have looked good. Um, so I just wanted to kind of add this on. I did get some... Um, of the uh selling as they call it but like i said for a mixed media background i'm happy with it i can work with it and uh i didn't waste a canvas then so again thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and uh again let me know down below if you would like to see me do any more of these because i'm going to be doing a bunch so i love you Bye bye